Social distancing. Social distancing, yeah. No, 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 it's not safe. It's not safe. You can sit if you want. Okay? One. Wait, are we recording? Yes, we are. Okay, guys, ready? One, two, three. What's up, YouTube? days that's how long I've been in lockdown on board the ship that's a hundred days since I joined went into 14 days of quarantine came through China sailed to the Philippines and now we're basically floating in the middle of nowhere and by the way I'm not getting naked I'm just gonna go shave how about I continue the story? Hold on with me after it. That's, that's kind of what I'm gonna do. trying to look for a home port, a place that will uh, take us and accept us. Uh, and after a while, we decided that we we're just gonna go and float around the ocean, basically in the middle of nowhere. So we found this really cool place. Literally, guys, th this is nowhere. I'm not joking. Ah, ha, that's how you look in the camera through the mirror. So this is, this is, this is nowhere. This is literally, if you think of a place that you want to call nowhere, I think we found it. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere where there's hundreds of ships that don't know where to go and what to do with themselves. So they're just kind of floating around here waiting for this pandemic to go over and for governments and countries and ports to let them in. I think I even one day stood there outside and tried to count how many. I kind of gave up after I got to 100. But... Looking at the radar and the maps. Look at the river. See how? Like I, I think there's about 400, maybe more, maybe less, but around 400 ships here. And you know what? This is really cool. Like, if I look at, if you look at the history, when was the last time that something like this happened? That's a really unique situation. Having hundreds of ships locked in one place, just waiting, just waiting day by day, have nowhere to go, with people strangled on them. There is people that have been here for eight months already. Eight months stuck on board on this ship, other ships. I even heard that some ships, you know, the company are bankrupt and no one is paying them salaries anymore and they're just kind of locked on a ship. Imagine how depressing that is. So 100 days, you know, that's probably a interesting milestone. Doesn't feel any difference. To be honest, I kind of didn't know 100 days until I just counted it. Um, but it just, it's very unique. So anyhow, without further ado, YouTubers use that word a lot. I don't know. So anyhow, I thought I'll do something special today. So in today's episode, we're going to interview a really, really cool person we have on board that have a very cool story, and I'm going to tell you that story. Actually, I'm going to tell you a little bit introduction, and then I'm going to let that person tell you his story, her story. Really cool story. I really enjoyed it. I think you're going to love it. Suni, do you know why this ramp is here? For the cylinder. For the luggage. Yeah. Yep. I'm making a vlog for the family back home. <laughs> this is my friend Suni. She's one of the coolest girls in the world. Hi, nice to see you guys. She drives this ship. She's so awesome that she can drive this <laughs> ship. Pretty cool situation. 
situation that we have here. And today I'm gonna tell you a really cool story because you know what, 100 days is kind of a cool milestone. All right, so we need a mask. We're going outside a bag. And for today's episode, helmet, I'll tell you all about it. There's a reason. Hey guys, what are we doing? You do. You, you have a nice hat, sir. <laughs> so let's just pretend that you didn't see that. Hey man, how you doing? So, 100 days, blah blah blah, yada yada, that's not interesting. There is something way more interesting that I want to share with you guys today. And that's the reason why I have this helmet. You see, we're going to go meet very very unique crew member that we have on board it's a she and she is a bridge officer one of the people driving the ship now i don't know about you but to me that's pretty cool because you know bridge officers in general sailors that's a job that is more kind of related to men it's much easier to imagine a popeye or a male bridge officer or sailor and when you see that there's a female doing that, for me, that's kind of exciting. It means that usually there's a cool story behind it. Now, yes, we're living in pretty cool days that there's more and more often that you see female bridge officers. Actually, Royal Caribbean is one of the leading companies in that. Around the fleet, we have quite a lot of female bridge officers. I think in Celebrity, you know, they have one time, the whole bridge team was female, which is very cool. But this, particular female bridge officer happens to be the only Chinese female bridge officer in the fleet and that's what makes it even more special more cool and now I just need to find oh I came to the wrong floor sorry in case you didn't know haha hello hello <laughs> We need on the stable side because it's very windy on the course. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just gonna follow you while you're working. Is that okay? Um, Mexican, yeah. Do you need help? No, it's okay. I always carry it by myself. Fair enough. Fair enough. Looks like our lucky day, guys. Caught her when she's working. So that's a tender boat. How many people can go in a tender boat? That's so, bigger than most the ships in my town. For the tender boat, maximum is 220 for tender operation. And for the lifeboat, maximum is 307. Oh, wow. Pretty cool. Okay. Hide it. That's very important. Can I can I join you? Yes, you can. Of yeah. Course. And you just put me on. Give you a look record, huh? Yeah, now you're the reporter. So Welcome to the tender boat. Ta -da! Tank here, it's the capacity is like 700 liters per tank, so total is like 1.4. Wow, how far can we sail with it? Ah, a lot far. We are running this tender three days before. So, 
What we need to do is testing the engine. So we need to start. So you have got some alarms at the beginning. And once it comes down, you will see if anything is wrong. So the only thing you need to do is start the engine. Uh, function engine wheel, but normally we only testing the engine when the tender bolt is water bolt. Okay. Do a, like protecting of the engines. Mm. You can see the rudder indicator here. If it's hard to port, hard to starboard. You can see the rudder indicator here is turning. That's cool. Yeah, and this is the fuel gauges showing you how much the fuel. If it's uh, less and you need a bunker in it. Does it have a camera? There is a camera here for the tender approaching. It's easy for everybody trying. Really? Yes, tender bolt is like a shoe. A... It even have its own CCTV cameras. That's everything. So here you have the navigation lights on this side. Now you are on the double side, so it's showing green here. And on another side is showing that. Huh. Yeah. Let's see if I can film it without dropping my phone into the water. Oh, that is not good. <laughs> yeah, how high are we? We're like five decks of, over the water, right? Yes. Yeah. And it's uh, strong winds outside. So. Yes, it's quite a strong wind. Which is one of the reasons why I'm not flying my drone today. I always go the bridge. How am I doing? You're stronger than me. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good job. Sometimes you need to go back and then you can just... I just made myself look really good, huh? Alright. That's cool. Yeah. Well, Suni, in case you're wondering, I'm doing a vlog. And today is my 100th day on board. Oh! How long you been on board? Congratulations, I was here. Three months, I guess? It's almost also 100 days. Probably? Yeah, yeah, time. you might have been also 100. I think, yeah. I think you might have came with me. So it might be both. And I thought it would be really cool if I uh, ask you a few questions. Yeah, sounds so good. About how... Because you see, maybe for you it's normal, but for me it's really cool to see a bridge officer, a female bridge officer, and it's even more cool to see a Chinese female bridge. I think you're the first one that I ever saw. Uh, I guess could it be on this class of the ship, could it be the first two Chinese officers, no. female officers? No. Yeah. Is there any other female Chinese officers I in Royal Caribbean? I don't think so. If I... No, I don't think we have any Chinese female officers. So you might be the only Chinese female Until officer? Until now, yeah, I guess. Until now? Yeah. That is a cool story, really. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Do my best. Ta da!
Really? Are, are they featuring today the movie Maleficent or that's just random? <laughs> random, long time before. <laughs> From when we had guests on board. All right. Yeah, you hear there's too much noise. 